it's Jacob and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to host an RLCraft server from your very own computer and how to join onto it with friends. So let's get right into it. To start off you need to have installed RLCraft on CurseForge. To install CurseForge just go to their website, link in description, click download or scroll down if you're on Mac or Linux then click download, double click the installer that will show up and voila, it should install. So anyways, when you're in CurseForge, head over to the near top left and click browse mod packs. And then if you go to sort by and do total downloads, it should appear on the top. And then what you want to do is click install on the right for me it says play because I already have it installed, but either way, click it and then head back to my mod packs and wait for it to download. So anyways, when you're in CurseForge and it's downloaded, what you want to do is click on Arrowcraft, not play, just click on it, and it should say version 2.9.1c. And if it does, then go to your web browser and click the link in description and then it should take you here and next to the install button click the arrow click download file and then wait for that now it should ask you where to download it and basically just put it where you want your server to be installed so it can be anywhere on your computer for me I'm just gonna do DROcraft I'm gonna do save. I'm gonna wait for it to download. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you should use something like 7-zip or WinRAR. It will just make life a lot easier. But anyway, once it's downloaded, you want to right click it and then show more options. And then there should be an extract files option. Click that and click okay wait for it to extract and now the old zip file you can delete and then that's what your server looks like but i'm just going to start off by hovering over all of this clicking Control and x and then clicking one folder above and then doing Control and v here so it pasted this and then the empty folder you can delete so that's the start of your server but anyway, you want to head back to CurseForge and you can see it says 23.52860. So you want to go to Forge and then as you saw that version 23.52860, you want to go over here, click installer, wait for all of this to pass and then when this button appears, you should smash it, just like you should smash that subscribe button. Um, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just for now, save it where you put your server. And then wait for it to download. And go back to your server. And where it installed, just double click it. And then this time, you're not installing a client, you're installing a server. So you want to do that. And you want to click the three dots. You want to go this PC, and then wherever you installed your server. So for me, it would be D, and then it would be RLCraft. And then I click open, and then I click OK. And it will install the rest of the server. Nice. And now the next step is probably one a lot of people miss, but it's because RLCraft is made in Minecraft 1.12.2, which requires Java 8, you need to have the right version of Java. So what you need to do is head to the link in description and then click the download Java button here. It should ask you where to download it, but for now, just save it where your server is. So click save, wait for it to download and then open that folder and once it's downloaded you want to double click it. a pop-up should come up but all you want to do is click yes 
and then wait for it to do its thing you just need to click install and yeah successfully downloaded and now you have the right version of java so what you can do once it finishes you can delete the old executable so click close in the old executable you can delete and the installer you had you can also delete and now on to the next step and now the next step requires you to have a run.bat file i'm not sure why it didn't appear for me this time but you can create it manually which is what i'll do but if you see a run.bat file do not take the steps i'm doing right now all you need to do is click view and then show and then make sure hidden items is checked then right click click new and then text document and call it run and instead of dot text do bat enter it might come up with a warning but just click yes and then right click it and then do show more options edit and now you want to paste in this code that will be in the description and then you want to do control and s you can x that and then you can double click a run dot bat lots of crazy things will appear but it'll stop quite quickly and it says you need to agree to the euler in order to run the server so what you need to do is just press any key to close the window and then a euler dot text should have appeared you want to open it and then where it says false you want to set it to true and then you can do control and s and now you want to run the run.bat again and now once it's finished your server should be up and running but for now you just want to type in stop click enter and that will basically stop your server but you're doing that because there's still a few more steps you need to take so the first steps we're going to take are updating certain mods such as if i scroll down here ice and fire and spartan fire so because we're updating it it will also break another mod which is ic dragons so what you want to do is for now delete all three of them ice and fire ic dragons and spartan fire and once you've done that you want to head over to the link in description and for spartan fire download the newest version 0 0.08 click download file you want to go to RL craft and then you want to go to mods and click save and for ice and fire you want to scroll all the way down until you find 1.9.1 for 1.12.2 click download file and then save it in the same place and now what you want to do is open your folder back up and now you need to do the same for your main RLCraft client to do that go to C users your name and then go to curseforge minecraft instances and then RLCraft and mods delete all three of them so i see dragons ice and fire and spartan fire although i have already done it here but all you need to do is install those two mods into here and you want to do uh, the same for i see dragon and delete that and that's the first step complete and now the final step is to just join it and it's pretty simple if you want to join from your own computer all you need to do is run run.bat and then what you want to do is click play on curseforge and wait for minecraft to load
and then you want to click play again and wait for RL craft to load and once it's loaded you want to head over to multiplayer and then click add server you can give it whatever name you want but I'm just gonna stay with Minecraft server then in the server address I'm gonna type 127.0.0.1 and then I'm going to click done and a pop-up might appear but all you want to do is click allow access and then head back to RLCraft then click done and it should appear at the top with a green tick and then you want to click play and voila you've joined your server but wait it's a little bit different joining it from someone else's computer so to do that what you want to do is first i'm going to disconnect from the server so the first step to join it from another computer is to just click there and then at the top search for command prompt click enter and then write this exactly this no spaces no caps whatsoever ip config and then click enter and you want to find your ip address and don't share this with anyone else than your friends it should say like ipv4 address and then lots of dots and then a number you want to copy that number so Control c and now i'm going to x out of the game i'm going to open up arrowcraft again and then from a different computer what you would do is first you'd do add server and for server address you'd put and then if you click done it will appear with another tick and you can join it and now you are finally finished cool goodbye